Hi everyone, Shravi here with Katie to get you up to speed on everything happening around and inside Verizon. We announced that the Verizon Innovative Learning Schools program will be in 350 middle schools by 2021 and we plan to reach an additional 2 million students in the coming years. Yesterday, the Ellen DeGeneres Show helped us surprise one of our Verizon Innovative Learning Schools, PS171 in East Harlem, New York, with this announcement. Verizon has loved helping your school and they want to continue to support you, so Verizon is giving your school an innovative learning lab that will feature new technology like virtual reality, robotics, and 3D printing. Very cool. The show did a whole profile on the school that you can check out on the web. We also launched an initiative asking the public to text EDUCATION to 501501 to help raise 2 million voices for education. For every text, Verizon will donate in their name to help schools in need, up to $2 million. And LG unveiled its first five-camera smartphone, the V40 Think. The multimedia powerhouse features simultaneous photo capture from multiple cameras, immersive 3D surround sound, and a massive 6.4-inch display. So you can express yourself artistically and entertain yourself in ways like never before. You can pre-order yours from Verizon starting October 11th. Now here's Steve with the rundown. U.S.-based startup Hyperloop Transportation Technologies unveiled this week the first full-scale Hyperloop passenger capsule. Called an airplane without wings, it travels through low-pressure steel Hyperloop tubes, and a journey from Los Angeles to Las Vegas could take just 20 minutes. Well, not sure if you're using the latest version of Wi-Fi? It's about to get easier. Say goodbye to confusing versions like 802.11ac. The Wi-Fi Alliance is adopting an easier numbering system, so you can tell if the equipment you're using is up to date. Wi-Fi 6 will be coming out next year. And the Unicode Consortium, the governing body for emojis, approves dozens of new symbols every year. And in just a few weeks, 70 new emojis will arrive on your iPhone as part of the iOS 12.1 software update. The new emojis include everything from redheads to a bagel, a lacrosse stick, a lobster, and more, bringing the total number of emojis to more than 2,800. And that's your rundown. Thanks, Steve. Next, it's good to be Susie. Susie Corona from the Wireless Marketing Team looks forward to Hispanic Heritage Month. And not just because she spends a lot of her time at Verizon working on programs that have a positive impact on the Latino community. This first-generation American, her parents were born in Mexico, embraces her life that's rich with culture and experiences. She took some time to tell us more about her story in a very cool Q&A. Be sure to check it out. V-teamers are still in need of your help rebuilding after Hurricane Florence. Please give to V2V. All proceeds go directly to our team members like Adrian Pollock, who says, V2V came through when I thought all hope was lost, and I'm so grateful to work for a company with such amazing teammates. This has shown me that we really do run to a crisis, not away from it. We're rebuilding slowly, but we still need your help. Let's continue to have each other's backs. We definitely have your back, Adrian. Well, that'll do it for us today. Be sure to follow us on social where we're sharing some happy faces from our first 5G customers. And until next time, you are up to speed.